<laughs> the Honourable Tanya Mihaly. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Assistant President. Can I just also take note um, and speak on the question that I asked of the Leader of the Government in relation to um, why individuals uh, who protest and cause uh, incredible amount of social upheaval and economic vandalism are, of course, being um, funded uh, and supported by the EDO. And I acknowledge that the minister made clear that the state government does provide some funding, and, and albeit 10 per cent of the overall funding uh, that the EDO does receive is from New South Wales, and of course a larger amount is also received from um, the federal government, or what was reinstated, I should say, last year by the federal Labor government. Um, for 10 years, uh, the EDO did not receive federal funding. Um, it did, however, um, contrary to what um, the Greens member just stated in the House, it did receive and has been receiving some funding from New South Wales for a number of years now. Um, what's important to understand, um, Assistant President, is there have been a number of recent cases, um, and I note the Santos case, uh, that made it very clear. That made it very clear that there are judgments now, judges coming forward to say that there needs to be a review of the EDO and the manner in way in which they conduct their cases. And of course, I want to acknowledge what Judge Justice Charlesworth said in slamming the EDO evidence in the way. Um, and I quote, so lacking in integrity that no weight can be placed on it, and said there was a significant degree of divergence in the evidence um, given by um, the witnesses that they brought forward in that particular case. Um, the EDO is now self-reviewing its own organisation, so it acknowledges there's some problems. Uh, but the problems that I'd like uh, this House to consider, and I think uh, the government, in, in light of the fact that they're going to now be a little bit tougher when it comes to people um, uh, placing their crime, you know, putting their crimes up on TikTok and, and social media, I don't think there's much difference with these serial offenders who go out there and tie themselves up to uh, to rail corridors, stopping um, um, coal trains in the Hunter, uh, stopping traffic on the Harbour Bridge, travelling from state to state, uh, causing major upheaval um, uh, to business and to communities. I, I also think it's a timely position now to consider how much of taxpayer money is actually going to defend these individuals, and which is why I asked the supplementary question about whether it's means-tested. We expect legal aid, and it is means-tested legal aid. There's no evidence um, um, at this stage um, that we can ascertain whether individuals who are probably you know, school, you know, rich school kids going out there protesting, being part of these protests, there's no question that they are relying on taxpayer funding to defend their cases. Um, and there have been a number of cases um, already um, uh, cited and referred to where people have been charged, uh, and they do seek assistance from the EDO. And, and I think it's a, a timely opportunity for this government to review the, the funding agreements between the New South Wales government and the EDO. The Honourable Jeremy Buckingham.